Hey, what's up? John Sonmez here, and I'm gonna do a book review for you. I've been on a tear reading books since I've been here in Barcelona as I've been doing workouts and getting caught up on the book reading. I go into these phases where I read a lot of books and phases where I don't so much. And I think that's important. I think it's important to gain a lot of information then to produce a lot of content from that. You gotta keep on having uh, new information, but you can't just always be consuming. You gotta be producing. In fact, you should be producing about 70% of the time and consuming about 30% of the time. That should be your ratio. I finally got around to listening to the audio version of the book Mastery by George Leonard. And that's a book that's been recommended a lot by a lot of people. Uh, I keep on hearing people talking about this book. And a lot of the other books that I've been reading, uh, I often hear that book reference uh, quite a bit. And so there's a lot of high praise. It reminds me of Peter uh, Druckert's uh, book. Uh, I'm spacing it now, but it's a pretty short read. And like I said, very highly recommended. But I have to say, my opinion of the book, I didn't find it very revolutionary. Like everything that you would read in this book, you've already heard. Now, probably the reason for that probably has to do with the fact that a lot of people read that book and then when they wrote their books, you know, they expounded upon the ideas in this book. So I'm thinking that when this book first came out, it probably was a little more revolutionary. I, I feel like it's just kind of basic, duh, type of, type of knowledge to me. I think it's a good book. I think I agree with you know, most of what was said in the book, but I just didn't find anything really revolutionary. A better book, in my opinion, that basically expounds the same philosophy in life was Peak, which I did a review on, and there's two Peaks, but Mastery is sort of basic kind of stuff about the idea that, you know, it takes uh, deliberate practice, obviously, to get, to get good at things. I mean, there's some more Zen type of approach to it. I think there's a lot about just like letting things come, which I think is maybe, I mean, that's perhaps the thing that's unique about the book is the idea of like that practice is the thing, right? If you're gonna get one really big concept from the book, that would be it, is that practice is the thing that you're after, that you're not done, that if you live for the goal, if you live for you know, what you're gonna accomplish from the practice, uh, you're gonna feel like you're not getting better and you're gonna get frustrated and you're probably gonna give up. But if you're like, okay, the reason why I run, the reason why I go to the gym, the reason why I play my instrument or I hone my craft is because that is it. That's what I'm after, is the process of doing that and the growth that will come from doing that. That is the thing, not looking for the end result. He talks a lot about uh, you know, the cycles of rest, which makes sense there. I'm not in 100% agreement with, with that, I think that you can still achieve the results without the, the rest in a lot of cases, but it makes sense that, you know, especially for muscle development and recovery and whatnot, that that's true. But, you know, even that, I, I think that we're finding, you know, more science and more people that are doing like workouts every day and still advancing. And there's, you know, the whole Bulgarian like squat thing where they had the Olympic team, they did like squats for every single day for like, uh, was it like three months or so? And they improved, they improved. Hola. Hola. They improved drastically. So I don't know, you know, it, it's uh, like I said, it's, it's not bad advice, I think it's good. You know, I, I don't mean to knock a book that's like so well recommended, but for me, I didn't find any real super new insights. Like I said, the one big thing that I got from the book was just simply that idea that you know, th this is it, that you live for the practice. And I've talked about this a lot on this channel. I've talked about this idea that like, you don't do it because of the result, you do it because of who it shapes you and who you become as you, as you, you know, as you follow the process. You trust the process and the results, you don't own the results, you can't control the results. You just gotta do the thing and, and keep doing it and you gotta love doing the thing. And that's, that's the thing, it's, it's also reminds me of, of David Data's uh, The Way the Superior Man where he's talking about like, it's never done, it's never finished, stop waiting for it to be finished. And that's the same thing with practice, with, you know, with training, with anything like, you know, uh, <laughs> I've, I've often thought, well, I wish I could just like get all my running done for the week and get it done now so I wouldn't have to run the rest of the week. And that's the wrong mindset. The right mindset is, look, every day you wake up, you're gonna fight a new battle, the battle begins anew, and, and that's, that's the thing. So anyway, mastery, click the card, or click the link in the description below. And uh, let me know what you think of the book. Uh, if you haven't already, click the subscribe button below. And I will talk to you next time. Take care.